kill. Split quad feed by white text. Oh my god. Gaming. All right, yo guys, what's going on? It's Rage, and welcome back to some more X Defiant. First off, I wanted to thank you guys very much for the support on the very first X Defiant video that I made. I usually don't branch out from Call of Duty, so seeing the support on that made me feel really good about posting other games like this. It's not like I'm completely giving up Call of Duty or anything like that for X Defiant. It just made me feel a little bit better about trying other games and, you know, posting these one-off games every once in a while to the channel. So again, seriously, thank you guys so much for that. The hype that this game has behind it right now is truly something incredible. Again, especially for it being in beta. So at the time of recording this video, it's about 30 minutes or so before rank play is supposed to go live. I might try making a video on rank play depending on how it goes later on. I'm going to try and play and stream it later. If it goes over well, you guys would have probably already seen the ranked video. But recently the devs put out a patch that uh, was supposed to fix the tracking. They went ahead, unlocked all the weapons, attachments, and it did fix progression. I noticed it while I was playing throughout the course of the week that uh, my Mosin loadout, my TAC-50 loadout, it's all properly leveling now. All the classes seem to be sticking and we're all good. I also did really want to try out this uh, Dragunov build here, make it feel like it's COD 4. See if I can find a way to possibly recreate the Beauty and Rage 2 closer on this. Also, one thing that I noticed, I wanted to try out more of this uh, zone control mode, because it turns out it's actually War from World at War. It was called Momentum and Advanced Warfare, and more recently in Cold War, it was called Assault. If you guys have been around on the channel for a little while, I've been talking about this game mode for years, that this needs to be a staple game mode in Call of Duty. It works in a very similar sense, right? You know, you got like five positions to capture throughout the course of the map. Match. It's styled more like offense and defense. Like, you're not fighting to capture all the zones. Like, you have to defend it. Well, at least I'm playing on defense right now. Okay, hold on. We're getting headshots with this thing. I wonder, does it, like, one shot? Nah, it does, like, 72 damage. Does very similar damage to COD 4. Oh, yeah, that's right. They got that little spawn protection thing right there. I'm assuming that if it goes into overtime and they start capping all the objectives, like, the, the time comes back, right? Like, now we got an extra minute. I was just about to say, though, I'm a little upset that I didn't realize this mode was in the game sooner, because I thought it was control, like, Call of Duty. Gotta capture two zones. You have, like, 30 lives, something like that. I was like, okay, no, nah, I've, I've seen this before, but no, they called it something entirely different. Also, I did want to thank you guys very much for clarifying this for me in the comments that uh, I'm not crazy about the whole uh, sniper scope sensitivity on KBAM. Apparently, a lot of people have been having some similar issues like that. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to have to do to fix it. It's just this weird feeling of like the, the sensitivity transition. I've started sniping more, especially with the Mosin. I got back to back hit markers right there. So as you guys can see, what I've started to do more is uh, snipe with ACOG scopes because I feel like the sensitivity is a little bit better. It's not as, like, wonky. Transition isn't as bad or anything like that. So, I don't know. Like, it feels a little bit more natural and I like it. It's actually a really cool game mode. I didn't realize that it was like this. Now, the only thing I would say is that I kind of wish you would have, like, one round where you're defending, one round where you're attacking, and then go into overtime if need be. Also, in which, I want to thank you guys as well for explaining how a score works because someone explained it to me. It's kind of like how Overwatch plays at the start, where all of the defenders get to rush up to the spawn, and I've never played Overwatch. I know. Surprise, surprise. As someone who really only plays plays Call of Duty. Yeah, it's it's not really a surprise. But thank you for letting me know of that. I still think it's a little ridiculous, and to a degree, I'm like, that seems unbalanced, but maybe I just uh, obviously haven't played enough Overwatch to really understand the pros and cons of it. Also, if I haven't mentioned this enough, I love the settings of these maps. Get this really awesome map that's literally set in Times Square. That's so cool. I think it was explained to me that a lot of the Tom Clancy games, a lot of games that uh, Ubisoft makes are set in Washington, D.C. and New York, so we're probably going to see a lot of settings like that, which I honestly think is so sick. So I'm down for that. Also going to be trying out more of this Mosin here. I decided to put the heavy barrel on and I'm noticing that, uh... Oh, I hit him for 118. He was boosted. I'm really liking the feel of the heavy barrel on this thing. And once again, I hit him for 118. Sitting here trying to make a point and like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm noticing I'm getting a little bit more consistent one shots. And then I hit mark two boosted guys. Oh, I missed. Oh my God, they're all here. Truly such a cool setting. I can't get over this, man. Please, melee! Something about the responsiveness in the melee. Maybe it's just me on a mouse, but I feel like it's oddly delayed and sometimes it just doesn't hit. Skill issue, probably. I know. Okay, so he runs through the shield to activate another shield. That's so annoying. I've started running more EMP nades because apparently it's supposed to help get rid of the shield. Yeah, just like that. Everyone's putting up shields. Guys, come on, get on it. We gotta contest it here. 
Of course he's boosted. All right, fine, whatever, we lost. So again, like I was mentioning a little bit ago, I'm recording this video right before the rank play mode starts. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to play X Defiant over the weekend, so this might be the last beta video that I make on it. So with that being said, go ahead and let me know down in the comments how you guys have found the X Defiant beta. Are you guys looking forward to the full release of the game? What do you like? What do you dislike? Go ahead and let me know. Personally, I've been having a blast with this game over the week that I've been able to play it. Like, I, I really didn't expect this. It is a really fun game. I'm still a little curious to see if they're gonna end up extending the beta just because, again, we had those connection problems from the first day or two, but it's ending, like, really, really late Sunday night. It may or may not get extended. I don't know. It's been running for, like, 10 days. Just got to their zone and no one's here. Oh, man. You're on the TAC-50. I decided to stick with the muzzle booster and I think I'm still using the rapid fire barrel. Yeah, I got the rapid fire barrel, quick draw, muzzle booster, variable zoom. Maybe instead of the stock, I kind of want to try running the extended mag on this just to see how it plays. The only thing is I really don't know how often I'm going to find myself in situations where I'm going to need all eight shots, but I don't know. It'll be nice to go on some streaks with it. I also haven't really done a lot of red gunning in this game and I don't know if I've mentioned it in previous videos or at least I don't know if I mentioned it in the first video, but... One thing that I've been really, really enjoying about this game is the immediate hit feedback. Seeing all the damage numbers, like all the uh, 24 damage right there, I know that I'm hitting them in the head, plus the little headshot pink noises that it makes. He's in here with me. There we go. Got him. Peek it. You won't. You won't. Aww. Peek, peek. Thank you. It's fine, guys. Don't worry. I got B. And just as I switched to reload the MP7. Oh, my God. It was kind of a nice streak, though. Picking up all those guns. Capping the flag right there. Felt like such a gamer. I don't mean to keep harping on this, but this is also something that I'm loving about this. Again, with the lack of skill-based matchmaking, you are finding games so quickly. It hasn't taken very long at all to get into games. Like, you'll queue, and then you're almost instantly already creating a match. It's so nice. And I really do feel like it just keeps more people playing the game. Just, I, I feel like it's that sense of random randomness with every lobby that you get into. It's that sense of unknowing what this next match is going to be like, and being able to do well in every single match that you get into just really goes to show that you are a good player, and then you obviously can go improving and ranked. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep using those EMP nades. I mean, you can throw all the shields you want at me. I'm just going to throw an EMP nade at it. I'm sick of it. Still really getting used to the feel of the heavy barrel on the Mosin, and I am really, really enjoying it. I'm kind of curious to see, though, what are the other bolt-action snipers that we're going to have in this game? Love the TAC-50, love the Mosin. I'm just curious as to, like, what's going to be in the full game. That should have hit. Come on, stop lying to me. Only downside is I kind of wish there was a, like some sort of magazine attachment, like a fast mag, a stripper clip, something like that. Oh my god. Oh, I wanted to go for the swap. Sniping is truly so satisfying in this game. I've been having so much fun with it. It has this nice dichotomy of feeling familiar, but also being challenging. Hey, there we go. Cleared him out. Split quad feed by white text. Oh my god. Gaming. Oh, hey, look. A shield. Oh, hey, look. An EMP grenade. Bye. Yo, the M60 sounds so nice. What the? I have no idea what attachments are on this thing other than this little laser, but this thing is nice. Oh, they got the spawn over there. Oh, well, I think that's game. 249, 250. Damn, GG. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually gonna be really sad when this beta ends. I feel like I've put a good amount of time into the beta, so it's not like I didn't play the game enough or anything like that. I still don't know if they've even announced, like, the full release date for this game yet, or if it's still just that big of a work in progress that they haven't announced it yet. I mean, one thing's for sure, though. I am absolutely going to continue playing these tests. That perfect timing on the shield, that's so, oh, that's so annoying. I was just about to say, I thought I hit that guy for like 118 and then hit him again for 74. But like I was saying though, I'm absolutely going to keep playing the play tests or uh, whenever they release new betas, more play tests, I'm absolutely going to be there. Oh, I got stuck with a Semtex, and because I was boosted, I was able to survive that. Really? I didn't know that was a thing. I don't really know how I feel about that. I know how I feel about these damn shields though. And I, oh my god, one HP, I'm gonna puke. 
I was just about to swing on this side of the map and the game ends. No! I figured that's where they were all going to be spawning. Oh, I thought I was going to go off. Really can't stress it enough though, man. I've been having so much fun with this game. I cannot wait for future playtests. Can't wait for the future betas. Can't wait for the full launch of this game. This is a game I could definitely see myself playing a good bit. Again though, if it does turn out that this is the last X Defiant video that I can make for right now, if the beta does end before I get the chance to play it again, again, go ahead and let me know how you guys found the X Defiant beta. I really enjoyed it. Definitely in the future, like I've been saying, I want to keep playing this game. So if you guys want to see some more X Defiant, go ahead and let me know that down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Rage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.